Imagine the problem is not physical. Imagine the problem has never been physical. That it is not biodiversity. It is not the ozone layer. It is not the greenhouse effect. The whales, the old growth forests, the loss of jobs, the crack in the ghetto, the abortions, the tongue in the mouth, the diseases stalking everywhere as love goes on and concerned. Imagine the problem is not some syndrome of our society, not something that can be solved by commissions or laws or redistribution of what we call wealth. Imagine that it goes deeper, right to the core of what we call our civilization, and that no one outside of ourselves can affect real change, that our civilization, our governments, are sick, and that we are mentally ill and spiritually dead, and that all our issues and crises are symptoms of this deeper sickness. Imagine the problem is not physical, and no amount of driving, no amount of road will help deal with the problem. Imagine that the problem is not that we are powerless or that we are victims, but that we have lost the fire and belief and courage to act. We hear whispers of the future. We slap our hands against our ears. We catch glimpses, but we turn our faces swiftly aside. The whistle is always blowing. There is no denying what is before my eyes. We all know the future. We only must say it and face it. There will be no first hundred days for this future. There will be no five-year plans. There will be no program. Imagine the problem is that we cannot imagine a future where we possess less but are more. Imagine the problem is a future that terrifies us because we lose our machines but gain our feet and pounding hearts. Then what is to be done?